software that helps the designer to get the optimum design of shell and tube heat exchanger parameters and conditions by using genetic algorithm. It can work in two modes. The first mode is the regular design mode. The designer puts the properties of both stream, as well as, the design parameters, and the output will be the regular output of design calculations. How it works. In this panel, you put the tube side and shell side fluids properties. Then, for regular design mode, you have to add the design parameters as well. Then by pressing, regular design, calculations result appears. For the second mode to be used, the designer should put some extra inputs, like the number of generations, the number of chromosomes, the number of trials, the maximum crane lift, and the maximum available length. Here, he should enter if either of the streams should be considered as a corrosive fluid. If he wants to make utilization of the allowable pressure drop, he can choose here which stream he wants to make utilization of, and how much utilization should be made. Then press optimize, the code runs, and the optimum design is obtained. In this panel, the designer can check the feasibility of adding nanoparticles to the tube side stream. He can choose between different numbers of common nanoparticles. Also he can put these properties himself. The output will be the annual cost when adding nanoparticles the saving obtained due to adding nanoparticles, and the optimum volume fraction that should be added. In this panel, the feasibility study of using fine tubes is performed. The input is the area ratio of fine tubes, and the output is annual cost due to using fine tubes, and the saving obtained due to fine tubes. The optimum baffle cut that should be used appears here, and the optimum baffle space appears here for the first mode. Panel, the annual initial cost, the running cost, and the total cost appear here, and the optimum allocation if the second mode is used. Here, the designer can check the feasibility of using helical baffle heat exchanger instead of single segmental baffle. The output will be the annual cost of helical baffle, the saving obtained due to using helical baffle, as well as the optimum helix angle. In this panel, the vibration check is performed. The designer should enter the method of fixation of the tubes, which is typically pin-pin fixation. The check is made on three common failure mechanisms, the vortex shedding, the turbulent buffeting, and the fade. Here the severity of vibration is determined if any mechanism of failure will occur. The modes at which this mechanism will occur and the precautions that should be taken is suggested. In this panel, the corrosion and fouling check is performed. The designer should enter some known data about the two streams. The output of this panel is the corrosion and fouling mechanism, the precautions that should be taken, the material that should be used, and the material that shouldn't be used. In this panel, the advanced design techniques are suggested. Here, the non-traditional baffle that should be used are suggested. Here, the heat transfer augmentation techniques that should be used are suggested. And here the stream control devices that should be used are suggested. The last panel is used to help the designer to get the optimum fouling resistance that should be used in his design. The inputs here are the properties of the streams and the history of shell and tube heat exchanger in similar conditions. The output is the optimum interval of cleaning and the optimum fouling resistance that should be used in his design. The designer knows the optimum allocation, the optimum parameters and the optimum utilization of nanoparticles, fine tubes and helical baffles. He knows also the optimum alternative to single segmental baffles, the best utilization of heat transfer augmentation techniques, the stream control devices. He also knows the severity of vibration, corrosion, and fouling, and the mechanisms that will occur, and the best practices to handle them, and the optimum fouling resistance that should be used. Now tell us, what do you need else to make an optimum design?